Hello my SOC universe. I have not been feeling great as of late. I've been lying in bed for basically the last two days, so hence no videos. But since I'm feeling a little bit better, I decided to get up and make this video and it should be an easy one. And we'll talk about, of course, what I already talked about last week with all the Corona regulations regarding Britain and now it seems poor Portugal. We had a whole lot of games switched to different venues and I want to run through all these switches so that we can get a little bit of uh, a gauge where things will be played because I find some of the venues rather, rather, rather curious. Quick interjection. Another game has been moved and this happened after I shot and edited the video and I didn't check any, any news so I'm waking up to this news. Uh, this morning. The game that has been moved is of course the one in Austria, or what should have been in Aust Aust Austria, where uh, Spurs initially had an uh, exception um, given by the Austrian government to actually be able to land in Austria, so the game can be played in Klagenfurt, which is still not the home arena of Wolfsburg. But now this has been rescinded and the game had to be moved and it's now also being moved to Budapest. I'm saying this here now because in the video you will see it in the graph. I updated that one, but I'm not talking dedicatedly about that one in the video. So just as a heads up that this is in there as well. Back to the original. Yes, of course, it. I think it affects almost all the British teams. What I still don't find quite fair slash logically is the fact that the away games of British teams have been put to completely different locations sometimes. I mean, sometimes really, really, really far away, like on the other side of the continent. However, the British teams all have home games, almost all of them. We will we'll, we'll see about the, the one exception, which to me, hmm, probably, let, we'll start Leipzig, um, plays Liverpool at home in the Buschkirche Arena in Budapest, but I honestly have to tell you, why can the Leipzig travel to Liverpool, where if Liverpool is the dangerous team that cannot play in Germany, why do we let Leipzig go to England to where a lot of more of the supposedly infected people are and then let them travel back? That doesn't make much sense to me. I know probably due to regulations that Leipzig, since they are Germans, they don't have to come and maybe there is a way that they can avoid the quarantine or whatever. It still doesn't seem right in many ways. I mean, from a scientific or pandemic point of view and also from a sporting point of view, because I literally think it is not fair that the teams that cause the trouble, I don't want to say they cause the trouble, but you know, cause the trouble, uh, can play at a neutral venue and then suddenly they have a home game. Yes, in pandemic times, home field advantage doesn't count for much. And when we talk already about Liverpool, by the way, I'm wearing Liverpool because I said, let's wear one of those pesky uh, offenders. Uh -huh. So Leipzig is probably not too unhappy to play at Anfield, <laughs> given the form that Liverpool had there at Anfield. But still, there is something that doesn't sit quite right with me. Uh, so we had Leipzig Liverpool is played in Budapest. We have Atletico Madrid Chelsea is played in Bucharest. Huh? How, how is Atletico suddenly playing all the way in the east? That makes no sense whatsoever. Absolutely not. Maybe Romania doesn't have as strict of regulations, but still, uh, you're bringing two teams. No, boggles my mind. If there's a one-off game between those two in Bucharest, okay, I think I could be fine with that, but then uh, Chelsea is playing the home game in Stamford Bridge. Does not make much sense. This is the one that makes least sense to me. Uh, Gladbach also plays in Budapest against uh, Manchester City. That was to be expected. And then we are really moving on to the Euro Europa League, where Real Sociedad plays at home against Manchester United in the Allianz Stadium in Turin. Mm -hmm. Pogba, home game more or less. Um, okay, Italy, Spain, fine. 
still uh, I find it a little bit mind-boggling and then we have the other Iberian team Benfica against Arsenal is played in the Stadio Olimpico mm -hmm. at least this one as you see has an interesting return leg as well then the one thing that I totally found also curious is that Molde has to play the home game and I don't know anything about Norway uh, the Norwegian regulations over here but Molde has to play the home game in the Estadio de la Ceramica in Villarreal that's an inter in 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 interesting one. Now, uh, I hear the, um, how, how, how to say, the um, argument that for those teams they could choose where to play, still you have to find some. It, it boggles me. I mean, Molde in, in Villarreal. <laughs> No, it doesn't make sense to me. And then Arsenal, that's the one British team that cannot have a home game. And they played in the Georgios Kar uh, Karaiskakis Stadium in Piraeus. So where Olympiakos plays. Seems random. Is random. Uh, let me finish this video. You see already with the uh, chances because they have changed a little bit. Uh, not much has changed in the top, top eight except that Real Madrid leapfrogged uh, Chelsea thanks to a six point week. As we talk about Leipzig and PSG uh, leap, is leapfrogging PSG. Uh, PSG maybe due to the fact that Neymar is injured. Maybe. Uh, and cannot play against Barcelona. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Porto and Lazio go ahead of Gladbach. So Gladbach at, at the moment is the least favorite team to win it all in the Champions League. And in the Europa League, we have actually also quite some changes. Namely, and I actually expected that Leicester is moving up uh, ahead of Spurs. That does make some sense, although Spurs has the much easier uh, draw in, 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 in the next round. Arsenal also moving up ahead of Nap. Napoli and Milan also moving up ahead of Real Sociedad, Ajax and Villarreal with their draw from going, going down. Uh, and then some others are moving. Uh, Hof Hoffman, for instance, also not having the greatest of times. But yeah, crazy times. Crazy times. I'm looking forward to have European uh, play again, but there's something doesn't quite compute to me. Uh, yeah. So that's that. Getting so excited is not good for my health. So I'm going to stop it here and <laughs> lie down again. And then uh, I, if I have the energy, I probably will do my Champions League choice review vi videos that you will get then bit by bit all eight parts. Let me know what you think about all this uh, in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.